Garcia, and today I'm going to talk to you about five really cool video effects that is going to make you look like a Premiere Pro. Now, I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. If you have these five effects just put in your back pocket for any time, you can make any video look super seamless and professional. Also, these effects are not that difficult to do, so if you're a beginner and you're worried that you won't be able to keep up, don't worry, just take it at your own pace, follow the tutorial, and try it on your own footage. Let's get started! Number one, time ramping. All right, so for time ramping, all you need to do is you first have to start with two clips that are going in the same direction and figure out where you want them to cut. You go to the little FX box on the top left of your video and press it. Right there, there'll be a time ramping option and you need to press speed. Once you do that, this line will pop up on your video. And all you need to do is find those keyframes, which is the little circle, add them in where you want the video to accelerate. Drag and pull to create a slope and pull up to make it faster, pull down to make it slower. Once you do that, uh, connect the other video to the other side and do the exact same thing for that, making sure that the slope is around the same and the speed is around the same to begin with and it slopes down at the same rate as well. Once you do that, you're going to see a beautiful smooth effect that goes from one clip to the next. And that, my friends, is how you time ramp in a nutshell. Number two, object masking. So start off by clicking the clip you want to mask. Make sure there's an object that covers the entire screen and goes from one end to the next. Once you do that, create a mask by going onto your effect controls panel on Premiere and press the option for opacity. See that little pen tool? Yeah, you're gonna click that right now. Then you're gonna draw a mask just like this where you can see the end of your object. It creates a full shape around your object. Press that little inverted button to make sure you can see the rest of your screen and it blacks out the object you are masking. So that way you know the blackout is where your next video is going to come in. Once you do that, press your mask path and press the little forward button next to the play button so you can skip frame by frame and drag your mask across the screen. Your key stamp should start piling up every frame that goes by, and yes, this takes a little bit of time, but I'm just going to speed this up for you. Great, so once your whole screen is black, pull in the video that you want the black to be replaced by. When you do that, feather the mask so it looks natural. Your finished effect should show it going from one object to the next without your audience even noticing. Again, make sure your clips are going in the same direction. Now you can also do this with people or any object that fully covers the screen. As you can see, I did it with a person who's passing the screen and it takes a little bit more time because in this case, as the mask is moving per frame, you just have to keep adjusting the parameters to make sure you're not cutting certain parts of that object. So it's the same process, do the exact same thing we did in the last video. And just like that, you have another mask with a person bringing in the new scene. Number three, picture in picture overlays. So for this overlay, all you need to do is find two videos and layer one on top of the other. In this one, I have a phone reflection and I wanna show the video being reflected onto my phone. This is where you can go to your motion settings in your effects control tab and start positioning, scaling, and rotating the picture in the way you want it to show on your screen. So I had to play around with this just a little bit to make sure I got the correct dimensions. Once I did this, I went to the opacity button and I changed the opacity blend mode to screen. You can see that it blends far better with the video, but I still reduced the opacity level to around 40% just to make sure the colors would look realistic with the screen. Once I did this, I masked the video that I had overlaid so I could feather the edges to make sure it blended well with the scene. Now, if your video on the bottom is moving a lot, you'll notice that the top video doesn't move as much. So animate your video by pressing that little clock button for position and rotation. Your finished effect should be the video reflecting perfectly on the screen or object you wanted it to be on. Number four, title masking. To get a cool 3D title effect in Premiere, first select the video that you want your title to be on. 
make sure you have an object or something that is crossing the screen that you can hide the title behind. Press the T button in Premiere, which is the shortcut for text. Write your text in the frame and then go to your graphics tab to play around with the font and the sizing of your text. Now when you're doing this, position your text in the last frame where you want it to be revealed. For me, I chose this beautiful curly font and I positioned it here, knowing that my object passes exactly that frame. Once you're done with that, press Option and hold the video on the bottom and duplicate it right onto the top layer. Yes, this is going to cover your video, but this is going to be very essential in the masking tool. Go to Opacity and press the Pen tool. Once you do that, outline the person or the object that you want to mask. But instead of doing the entire object, the whole front section where your title will be, make a square around the screen so nobody can see that title effect. Press the little clock tool and add keyframes to mark exactly where your subject is moving. Keep the frame moving until you can reveal the text. You may have to position and alter just certain parts of your subject's outline to make sure it sticks with how the video moves. Once you're done with that, your text will be revealed at the end of the event. Number five, animated overlays. Animated overlays are so easy to do. Find a video where you find a bunch of little animated scribbles or overlays that you want to put on your video. Now take that animated overlay and layer it on top. Make sure the background is a solid color, preferably black, so that way you can go onto the effects tab and press in luma key. Once you've typed in luma key onto the effects tab, drag and drop it onto the animated overlay. You'll notice that the black background disappears. So now all you have to do is click the overlay and go onto your effects tab and position, rotate, and scale it into the way that you want it to show on the screen. I wanted steam to come out of this burger. So what I did was I continued to duplicate the animations to get three separate animations onto the single video. I positioned and scaled them differently and I entered them in at different times so that way they could appear as their own individual steam overlay. Now you know all the effects that will make you seem absolutely professional. If you implement any of these into your videos, it'll make it really interactive and engaging for your audience. Go give it a shot. I hope you like this video and if you want to see more like this, let me know down below in the comments and again, if you have any questions or anything on videography or things you'd like me to cover, let me know. See you in the next one. Bye. So this is the thing with Dubai. When you take one wrong turn, you spend half an hour trying to get back and completely miss the sunset. Thanks, Ray. Sorry. <laughs>